Hello grapplers and welcome to a new Sangif video. I haven't seen you in a while. How you been? Everything good? That's cool. When I talk about Sangif, I've been recovering. My voice has, <laughs> was cracking yesterday. Not from Evo, I've been kind of sick. But I feel good enough to talk about what happened last Saturday. A bunch of Sangif players went to Evo, went to fight. Fight the good fight. All of those Ken players, all of those Luke, Kami players, you know the usual. Well, looking at this, this is not the match we're gonna analyze. This is just a Flaquito versus Tabashi. Flaquito, in case you're wondering, means slim. Little slim. You know, you learn a little bit of Spanish over here. We're not gonna watch the entirety of the match, just the last round. Three piece chops. That's standing medium kick, you know. Very annoying. This is not a horrible match for Sangif, but it is pretty bad in some instances. Yeah, Flaquito is very cool. He doesn't need to do anything. Another standing medium kick. Whip punishing perfectly. You have level 3, you're gonna use it. Let's go ahead a little bit. You have Oki over here. Even if you're in Burnout, you're not scared of Sangif. And now Itabashi has to get in somehow. You'll see that he's trying. He's really trying. Throw. Oh no. Oh no. The standing medium kick. And that is the face of someone who just got standing medium kicked to death. What is a bad matchup is this one. Later in the day, he had to fight Shakotai. Shakotai. And this is a bad matchup. You know, you know the, the culprits already. The usual suspects. Standing medium punch, very good. Crouching heavy punch, extremely annoying. She has a Shiryuken. She has a lot of buttons that really make Sangib struggle. Matchup, I think historically, pretty tough for Zangief. It is pretty bad. This is one of the issues. Every time you're whiffing or you're, you're just waiting, she will do something and hit you. It's very, very difficult for Sangif to be in a position where you can easily hit Lily without being uh, counterpoked. This is significant since Sangif lost the old standing medium kick, old new standing medium kick. You have now the regular standing medium kick of season one. That button was doing wonders in this matchup. And now that you don't have it, it is painful. He is not very good at dealing with it. So you see the double stock early. And then now three, and yeah, he gets offended. That's a lot of this matchup. So it makes it a little tougher for Zangief to keep. The pronunciation is Chakotai? Chakotai? Keep the pace in I thought it was Chakotai. I, I love how Chakotai is using these buttons too. Like, knows that they're like, I Chakotai. can play in this range, and you really have to respect it, even if you are Zangief. Zangief. Nice, on the medium punch. And now you have you have to try reversal. And just like that, Lily's in burnout, but you're not safe. Absolutely not safe. I don't blame you. Both these characters are terrifying to defend against. Itabashi's drive gauge is so good here as a good combo. Back to yeah, Lariat, hold forward. Super level one. Why was that combo? Sangif in burnout. Sangif in burnout. Whiffing a combo at the end. That, that's just... Itasan has that issue. Happens so often for him. That was a weird medium kick. Oh no. And you have no answer. And he's trying to find some kind of solution here to that move right there, which is exactly what he did into the level one. A little faster now, so stuff like that. One command grab. Really nice to have. Oh, the... I hate. I do hate. She has the opportunity to cancel the second hit of the crouching heavy punch into something. It makes everything so easy for her. And now right back at GG. One win stock. He tried to go probably for heavy punch or standing medium punch. That is a punish. You can escape the buttons, your plus over here. The damage is starting to add up more and more. Standing medium punch, interesting. Was that a knee? Yeah, that was a punish counter knee dry brush. 
This could have been Hellstab. Light SPD, punish counter, dry rush. Nice spacing on that forward heavy kick too. Oh, another one. He's really trying. He's trying to threaten a little bit more so that she can't win store for free, but she's already got two, which means it's happening no matter what. Oh no. Oh. Regular throw. Backing up a little bit. I like that because they there's the stop. I'm not scared of Sangu dry rushing forwards. The standing heavy punch can be easily punished by Lily. She, do she doesn't need to think too much. And that's why one of the reasons this matchup is so easy for her. She has all the tools and you don't have to think. You can just with punish, get in, with punish, get in. And do the, the same situation over and over again. Sangu is very, very limited here. And he's already a very limited character. And you can chill. Here you have one win stock, so you have a free entry against Sangif. If Sangif goes for the standing heavy punch, standing medium punch, you can whiff punish with the with the spire very easily. You can just poke with the standing medium punch until Sangif gets tired and has to go for something. Two win stocks, very difficult. That's the best you can do. Look at that damage. That's the best you can do from knee. Oh no. Another win stock. That is so easy to confirm. That's it. Look at that face. Look at Chakotay's face. He's like, yeah. Did you like that? This matchup is so, so annoying. Whenever someone mentions how balanced the game is, you should show them this match. And before you jump into the conclusion of Kobayan could have won this one, let me remind you, during the group stage, Kobayan actually lost to Hibiki. The best Sangif in the world still loses to a really good Lily. And even, even a medium Lily can put uh, Sangif in a world of hurt. It is not an easy matchup. That that phase says it all. It was extremely easy for Shakote. He knows the matchup. He has fought Sangif in the past. Has the ability to beat Sangif. Lily has the Oki all the time going on against Sangif. Sangif has no wake up options besides, you know, super level two or three. Parry. She doesn't have to worry about those. She has long buttons, really good pokes against Sangif. At this point in time, I don't think fighting games should have matchups this bad. Bad matchups for sure, but a, a truly hard counter pick? No, sir. That is a bad idea. Sad to see. It really hurt. But we need to understand we're going to struggle with Lily unless Sangi gets buffed. Or, I don't know, or, or they balance both characters. I don't know what they're going to do. So, always, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe if you really liked it. I hope I can see you in the next one. And I'm sorry for my voice today. I'm still recovering. But anyways, thanks as always. Keep playing grapplers. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.